In a pattern opposite to the liking slash loving tendency, humans are also born to dislike and hate. As a result, the long history of mankind contains almost continuous war, even with the spread of religion and the advent of advanced civilization, modern war is still savage. However, it can be argued the prevalence of violence in society has decreased in every progressive era. Now, we have found a new way to channel our hatreds of individuals and groups into non-lethal methods by way of politics. The polarized animosity between people with differing political beliefs and affiliations is a clear demonstration of the inherent tendency humans possess for disliking and hating. At the family level, we often see one sibling have hate for his other siblings. At work, we often see co-workers hating each other. And in sport, we see how players and fans hate opposing teams. This disliking slash hating tendency has a number of practical consequences because it acts as a conditioning device that makes the disliker or hater tend to 1. Ignore the virtues of the object of dislike 2. Dislike people, products and actions merely associated with the object of its dislike and 3. To distort other facts to facilitate hatred Distortion of this kind is often so extreme that miscognition is shockingly large. For example, when the World Trade Center was destroyed, Pakistanis immediately concluded Hindus did it. The Muslims concluded Jews did it. Such factual distortions make mediation between opposing groups locked in hatred close to impossible.